Hello, fellow beings. Before we start our silly show about secret lack of humor, we will hear some public announcements from our sponsor, Minister of Culture. What is worse than having an apple with a worm? Humor. Oi, oi, oi. Serious to humor. Are you humor? Humor is serious. No, I'm a sheriff. Vakavuus humorille. Oletko humoria? Humori vakavuudelle. Hei, olen sheriff. Ei, 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 Welcome to our show that celebrates 100 years of pure nationalistic fairy tale of union and 50 years of do not criticize occupation of some land. Our sponsors are definitely not happy about our amateurish inability to lie and glorify our actions, but do we do our best, which in all scale happens to be the worst. Thank you for making us a little bit more afraid and not to say whatever comes to our privileged minds. It is time to try out new kind of diplomacy. Our tonight's topic is humor. The first question goes to our visiting specialist. Do you consider this to be humor? Why did the humor use ovens to try out new pastries? A, 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 A. Why do you say no? We say no. Why do you say no? We are the wood-headed puppets who say no. A, 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 A. All right then, it is time to investigate more humor. <laughs> Which show the kids watch in the humor? Train of surprises. Mitä on my lapset katsovat humorissa? Yllätysti junaa. A, 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 A. Two humors fight. One throws a soap on the other. The other says, hey, leave my mom out of it. Anyone want to say anything here in the audience? Anyone? Hello, this is one citizen and I have to admit that I don't understand your humor. What are you trying to say or provoke or declare with this? Well, we have our freedom of expression and I suppose the ability to talk about sensitive things through humor is possible? Yes, we do have, but we have forgotten our position as privileged extorting westerners who take their inspections from intellectual distance and never come to think how untold words can conserve and strengthen the power imbalance and historical exploitation. Their humor is not constructive. It is ironical inward turned circle jerk. Be ashamed. Any comment from the specialists? A, 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 A. As the discussion has sparked, let's throw more gasoline to the flames. <laughs> A, 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 A. Which is the best supermarket in the humor? Super humor. Mikä on paras supermarketti humorissa? Super humori. A, A, A. Humor asks a kid, how old are you? And the kid says, next week I'm seven. Humor says, optimistic. I admit myself, this sounds a bit grim. Can we tell this joke, for example, in a cocktail party? What do you think, you specialists? A, 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 A. Hello, this is Gerber speaking. I'm very, very sad that you immoral liberal bro enlightenment dummy boy have been exploiting our humor heritage. This joke is ours. I remember in the good old times how we used to tell this joke with the big boss and laugh all night. <laughs> Thank you for your insights, Mr. Goblins. 
For your joy, we give you more to think about. A, 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 A. Yes, yes, yes. What's the difference between pizza and humor? Pizza does not scream while you put it in the oven. This is Luigi. What the fuck are you joking about me? I'm not a murderer. I just make pizza, man. I'm hungry. You're a piece of shit with your stupid jokes. You have no moral. You are selfish, one-eyed, deaf and dumb. We're making a living here. Who's paying your pizza? I work under the goodwill of the philanthropists. Someone is willing to pay me and I produce content as return. I will get your funder's name and I'll make sure you will never be funded again. That man was full of anger. People remember that this show is a talk show and place for conversation and we are not afraid to talk about difficult matters. Specialist, do you agree with me? A, 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 A. The following material is produced for our adult entertainment sponsor. Heartbreaker in the humor. Humor done well. 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 To be honest with you, because it is difficult to lie, I tell you the real reason why we are making this show. I have to admit that we are only promoting the works of an illustrator, Anne Dallin. He has forced us to sacrifice our reputation to talk about humor in a very questionable manner. Although our crew has no real knowledge, neither any sensitivity and patience to consult real professional research to express meaningful insights about the whole thing. This promotional material has been made under the influence of business concept model of fast food industry to produce individual promoting propaganda material as much as possible without real content to make customers hooked with empty promises to our product that has no real nutritious values. This is just to fill silence with pretentious maneuvers made under the fear of extreme extortion by Anne Dallon, who we should now promote for the following moments. This is some work by Anne Dallon. You should buy it. It is called Humoranas. What sign is there in front of humor? Be careful with the step! Now we hear an interview of Fish Rally artist Ann Dallon. Did you laugh while drawing these pictures? Uh, no. According to Ann Dallon, he laughed all the time. First, because the jokes are funny. It does not matter how horrible they are. Of course, what's funny about them is not the happenings or the events which cause them or human suffering, but with anything, there's something funny, according to Anne Dallin. Also, according to Anne Dallin, it's an empowering tool. So, yes, he laughed quite a lot. They're funny, aren't they? He asks. Why do you want to make humor about difficult and questionable topics? Uh, okay, da da Anne Dallin has two reasons. Hey, oh, okay, the first, according to him, is because there is something free about making a joke about a taboo or a forbidden subject. It allows to discuss and bypass hard things which are not easy to speak about. The second is 
that it's a rebel tool. Usually, when things are taboo, it's because someone has something to lose due to it. It is a diminishing political tool. You're not allowed to laugh at that. Well, when addressing a general subject, which has an important theme status, it's not only okay to laugh at it, it's needed and required, according to Andalin. So, it's also a protest against the thought that there are things you are not supposed to laugh at, summarizes Andalin. What if someone would make fun of you? According to Dan Allen, that would be great. A person which takes himself too seriously is not a serious person. And it's also a way to get attention, because he is, according to him, a very important person enough to laugh at. What do you find funny? According to Anne Dallin, he finds funny, irony, anti-heroes, self-humor, impressions and imitation. Cruelty, just for sake of being cruel, is not funny to me. It's too easy. I understand why it's funny to laugh because of it. But for me, it's just not enough, says Anne Dallin. Where are most of humor? In the ashtray. Why did you want to do these pictures? To this question, and Alan replies, not so nicely, but with, uh, a, according to him, he says, didn't I answer that already, fuckface? Where do we need laughter? According to and Alan, all the time, it's hard for me to laugh at things I'm scared of. I wish I could. Maybe I will someday, he says. Do you consider your pictures to be accessible for everybody and not just to be a joke for a small closed circle? As we understand, and Alan, these pictures are based on very popular jokes, so he doesn't know how many people know them or how many don't know them, but he would assume that they are quite popular, especially among people of his age and younger. For what you can't laugh at? When humor becomes a tool of power from Nazi cartoons to mean kids at school laughing at their fellow pupils, I don't find it funny, says Anne Dallin. But it's a humor I would use or a scenario I would definitely relate to when make a funny works. What do you think makes your pictures acceptable instead of being considered racist and repressive? According to Anne Dallin, hopefully they show a complex situation. Most of his drawings in the last years are more performative act than a pure materialistic piece. Therefore, he shows with those drawings a complex act and not uh, only poking someone's eye. Are you afraid of being misunderstood? And Dallin replies re straightforwardly, always. How would you explain your choices in case of misunderstanding? And Dallin would try to make people look at the whole picture and not only the first thing they see. What should we do to cry? Think the ones with the worst circumstances and trying to put ourselves in these people's shoes, says Anne Dallin. <laughs> ei, 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 ei. Miksei? On the last part of our series, we were left with the question why not?
But you will never know. Because humor is dead. Humor heard a joke. What did humor when ran out of battery? Run to electric fans. I saw humor dying. Humor walked down the street. He didn't feel very good. He collapsed to cry. Nobody was laughing anymore. He said as in last words. I saw humor dying. All humor could do was to cry. On the road of tears, rocks pull it down. The one who falls is not anymore laughed at. The one who falls is not seen. I saw humor die. Humor lifted up on the third day. In the atmosphere, nobody was laughing. Humor did not want to die. Did laughter kill me? It asked. I saw humor dying. Humor could not comment why it died. It only said that there was no reason to laugh. I saw humor dying. He was prisoned and alienated. Crime of humor was irresponsible laughter. I saw humor dying. Humor tried for once more to illuminate hidden. The guards took the torch, broke it, and beat the humor to the ditch to suffer. I saw humor dying. Senseless took humor as their hostage. Nobody wanted to save humor. Senseless had taken the power. I saw humor dying. Humor walked past me on the street. I started to laugh. Humor told me not to laugh. There's no more humor. I saw humor dying. Humor disappeared from us. Humor realized that it had hurt so many by being unthoughtful. I saw humor dying. I could not do anything else but cry. Cry and laughter springs from the same source. I saw humor dying. It happened slowly. Humor drank himself to death. Every laugh extended length of the life. I saw humor dying. Humor was sorry for all the misery it has caused between people before taking cyanide. It said, I thought you'd assume what something seemed to be, because I thought it, it was humor. I saw humor dying. It happened in the silence. Humor was left alone responsible for its actions. It was forgotten as inappropriate. I saw humor dying. Humor was paralyzed on the street. Nobody helped humor. Humor had helped nobody. I saw humor dying. Humor was representing intolerance to advance tolerance. Humor was misunderstood. Humor was thrown to water as a witch. I saw humor dying. It was lifted on top of the firewood. Humor was too open. Wood burned fast. I saw humor dying. It was driven over the border. Nobody talked about the humor anymore. I saw humor dying. Humor's mouth was blocked with tape. Words transformed into sounds. Sounds made people fall asleep. I saw humor dying. Humor pushed boundaries. Borders were not open. I saw humor dying. Humor turned on the light. The revelation was despised. The lamp was shot with a shotgun. I saw humor dying. Humor said hello. Entertainment punched humor in the face. I saw humor dying. Humor's step grew bigger. Humor had to sell out. I saw humor dying. The enigmatic nature of humor was inappropriate for our time. We were too hasty with humor. I saw humor dying. Humor defended truth. Laughter as its weapon. Laughter was not heard in front of the army of untruth. I saw humor dying. Humor opened its mouth and said wrong. Don't do wrong, said others. Why humor is like a Santa Claus. It comes out of the chimney. Okay, now we have Bergson on Bergson. Dear Senior Bergson, isn't your laughter coming from an equal position as it is little bit of despising in your pursuit to wake up sleepwalking individuals back to group of normals as you would know the right truth. Yes, my laughter is cruel, but in the same sense, it is loving. It has a will to construct. It has its power in the intellectual thought. Its aim is to ask a question, 
Has my preconceptions of life taken me away from the social realm where the life happens? It has deep desire to ask a question how the person is living. Is the person detached from the reality of things to illusions and to vanity and to feel self-importance? It truly takes the ignition from superficial, but more you put effort to your constructive laughter, the more profound question you are able to awake rather than just to laugh at the sake of superiority. I have been able to think due to my privileged position. I can say I'm an intellect, but my position is from the love of life, philosophy, and my intention is to spread this slow philosophical thought. How does a humor hit a woman? Ask for her number. Shouldn't we laugh at ourselves instead of others to realize our preconceptions and normalizing actions? Yes, we should realize our weakness within us and start laughing at ourselves and the qualities that still make us to laugh at the racist jokes, difference, abnormality, nationality and so on. I imagine this quality might find its source from the laziness. Laziness of thought. We assume something without ever taking our own will to really investigate from where are these assumptions coming from. Whose thoughts are we actually spreading? Could you be able to laugh at your privileged position? Yes, and I have to. I do it daily. It is absurd. It is dark. It is cynical. It is easy to lose hope and see that everything is meaningless and empty and suddenly to become very ignorant. It is worth to understand this position and then realize all the possibilities what could be done from this position to start fixing these unequal power structures and change the whole way of life to become sensible with laughter. Not to, not to restrict laughter, but each time when there's, there is oppressing laughter to ask and question from yourself and from the one who tells the joke. Why are you still laughing at these things? And maybe make a joke about how we privileged are still very undeveloped intellectually, that we have forgotten human rights and need for equality. We need to realize the forces and thoughts that oppresses us and makes us to oppress ourselves. We need time to think. We need to stop and not to be afraid to hear undesired words but we need to have a will to fix them with our, our thoughtful words. What did they eat in the humor? Snitchel. Can you tell us a joke then? All right. Why did Henry Bergson tell a racist joke? There was no time and nobody to teach him other jokes. We're ready to start our tonight's show. People, are you ready? Which show was popular in the humor? That's it! A. What did the teacher do in the school for humor? Concentration hour. Concentrate. 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 Which game to play in the humor? Sick, dying, dead, and soap. I am sick and tired of this freedom of expression. 
All I try to do is to have a conversation about difficult topics, but I only get accused of being intolerant, although I only work as a mediator. If I cry about it, I get the status of a martyr. I don't know how to use my freedom of expression. I take it as granted. There is no responsibility. I guess my methods are old-fashioned. I guess I haven't embodied the wisdom of equal human life. I don't know what I can joke about anymore. People have laughed at me. They have shown me that I've been ignorant. That I don't care enough about equality. They have caught me with oppressing thoughts. I work for the oppressor. I have no free speech. I have to recapture my thoughts and rediscover human rights. I have only assumed them. I don't live up to them. There is a fascist in me. I seem to know the truth. I don't know it, but my fast reactions reveal my obedience for the oppressor. There is a fear in me for nothing. I believe in superficial. There is a racist in me. I discriminate. I classify. I assume. I live through the stereotypes. I want to recover. I want to heal. I want to laugh. I want my laughter to be constructive. I want to give rebirth to the humor that was dead. This new humor will be constructive, thoughtful. It will laugh at the one who made me laugh at the others. It won't rest until the oppressing forces have given in. It won't rest until there is no separation. It does not want to normalize. It wants to, it wants to joy the difference and the constant realignment of mixing. It is transformative, self-aware, vulnerable, sensitive, joyful construction of more thoughtful world. This laughter asks us to laugh at ourselves, to our dearest survival skill of ignorance that has led us to lose our sense of humor. Sometimes I just want to cry as much as I laugh. Too much gas. Why did humor commit a suicide? It saw the gas bill.